Hi, everybody. My name is Steve Jarris, and I've been the uh, lead writer on Saints Row 1, 2, and now Saints Row the 3rd. Uh, and I also was lucky enough to get a chance to write the uh, Power trailer. So uh, here's an exclusive behind-the-scenes commentary on uh, some of the Easter eggs and, and fun stuff that's going on in the, uh, the Saints Row 3 Power trailer. Uh, so here, a lot of people have commented on it already. Uh, in the beginning, we see Johnny Gad. Uh, the Saints are celebrities, so we have his, um, the Saints Flow energy drink. And then uh, Philippe Loren uh, shows up to uh, crash the party with the De Winter Sisters and his morning star. The selection of the song, Power, was actually something that was written into the script originally. So all the beats was timed to the music. We spent a lot of time massaging the track. So uh, entering into the, the Saints penthouse, uh, there's a couple things that you can go and notice. It's a little hard to see because the uh, party goer's thumb is obscuring the bottom of the invitation. But it says, Welcome the Saints to Steelport, and underneath the floor de lis uh, is the text sponsored by the Saints Altor Media Group. Uh, it's our little nod to the fact that the Saints have partnered with Altor, so they're throwing this like coming out party uh, here in Steelport. Uh, on the website, a lot of people are talking about the De Winter Sisters being like these assassins, uh, and they're really not. They're like um, really awesome personal assistants who are, are businesswomen and they're savvy, but they're not like killbots. They're they're really smart and savvy women, uh, and that's a little misconception that that I see get pushed around a lot on the forums. Um, as you move through the party, there's a couple other um, saints there. There's uh, Pierce is there with Gat in the beginning. Josh Burke is there signing his 8x10. Uh, there's Shondi. She's got a, a different look. She's a reality TV star now. Uh, the Saints bottle, of course, is a Saints Row branded bottle of champagne that gets busted up. And if you look really closely at his vest, he's got lots of little floor de lis because the Saints have their own uh, their own clothing line. Uh, the character typing on the sofa is named as Kinsey Kensington. And Agent Kinsey Kensington used to be a member of the FBI who has uh, left the uh, the agency to go and help the Saints. Uh, if you notice behind her on the TV, uh, Monica Hughes is on the screen giving a press conference and she is now a senator. She's no longer a mayor. So here comes the player. Uh, it was hard to go inside and look for him because the player can be like anybody. We tried to pick a guy, just you know, made him look you know, young and cool. Uh, I think in hindsight, we might have made him look a little too much like Johnny Gat, but I think this thing looks really slick. Angel de la Muerte with the Tornado DDT. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of the trailer. Both myself and, as well as the lead animator are, um, are big wrestling fans. And as a result, we try to go and subvert it whenever possible with some, uh, some wrestling love. If you notice on the uh, coffee table, there is a magazine with a Killbane Angels tag team partner on it. And the text is really small, but it says world class uh, champion or world uh, class criminal. And, uh, and Kilbane is one of the antagonists who uh, used to work with Angel and they had this falling out. And up here is uh, Oleg Kurlov with a V, not an R. There was a typo in Game Informer and now it's kind of become legacy and, and hopefully we can go and squash that right now. Uh, Oleg is our uh, eight foot tall chess playing juggernaut of uh, Saints Row the Third. Stag is another part of the puzzle that, that the Saints have to go and deal with. It's not just the Syndicate, it's also Stag. The Saints are pretty much fighting a two-front war uh, throughout the game. Stag does not play favorite. Stag is there to stop the gangs, and that means all the gangs. And here's our, our, our parting shot to those who stick it through to the end. Uh, Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax is uh, one of our signature activities in Saints Row 3. Uh, and Professor Genki is the homicidal cat mascot of this show uh, who uh, leads people on a delightful game show for fun, profit, and murder. Uh, and there's going to be a lot more Genki coming, and I, I think it's safe to say that you're not ready. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and thank you for all the support that the community uh, has given Volition and, and the Saints Row brand. We wouldn't be here um, without you guys. So... Uh, Stay tuned uh, to saintsrow.com for more information. We're going to have lots of new stuff coming down the pipe. And uh, be ready on November 15th.